my name is Lexi Janizik and I'm the preparator at the University of Iowa Stanley Museum of Art. Today we're going to talk about how to put picture frame wire on a painting. So with this example, the wire is revealed when you hang it on the wall. And that's something that means A, that the wire is stretched out and is too old, and B, that it needs to be replaced. So, so the tools you're going to need today are some wire that I purchased online that is the appropriate weight for the artwork you're hanging. So this wire can hang up to an, an object that has up to 43 pounds. So this is pretty lightweight, so that's gonna be okay. We also have some heavy duty wire clippers, which we all could use at home. So the first step was to remove and replace these and put them in a spot that's um, a little bit better. So this is about four and a half inches from the top and both of these should be in the same place on both sides. So four and a half inches from the top. Typically this is called an eyelet, but normally we use D-rings and these are a little more secure and make sure that the artwork doesn't swing because it has two holes to screw in. But in this case we can live with this so the first step is you're going to make a knot. So you go th through, crimp it, go around, under, and back through. So you can see it makes a knot and it's supported all from loosening when it, it goes on the wall. So after this, you wrap the leftover wire around the main wire that will be hung up used to hang on either a nail or a screw. So see, so like this. Okay. So we've tied our first knot and we're about to do our second knot. So with the second knot, I usually leave about five inches extra on the end to wrap back around the main wire once we're done tying the first, or the second knot. So to start, you go from the top down, make sure it's pretty snug over, back through from the bottom, and then down. So the eyelet moved a little bit, but you can see it's a pretty nice knot. And then you wrap it back around. And that's about good. I usually have about half an inch or so. More doesn't hurt. And then you trim off the end. So it should be pretty tight and over time it will move a little bit, but you wanna make sure initially when you're tying the knots that it's pretty snug so that it won't give too much over time from gravity. And that's it. Thanks so much.